One third of the land on Earth is classified as desert. 20% of the desert area is covered by sand. These sandy areas are neither found to be structureless nor chaotic. Instead, one observes a whole hierarchy of distinct sand shapes. From wavy sand seas swallowing roads and settlements, over isolated shifting dunes, to neat tapestries of ripples. The creator of this impressive multitude of shapes is the wind, or, in technical terms, Aeolian sand transport. You might already have observed this natural process while strolling along a beach on a windy day. Driven by the wind, the few sand clouds meander over the ground. The challenge is to explain how the multitude of observed sand structures and distinct geometries emerges from this seemingly chaotic process. The present paper takes a major conceptual step towards a quantitative theory based on the grain scale physics. The key insight to arrive at a reasonably faithful yet mathematically manageable model of the complex grain hopping is the following. The whole ensemble of grain trajectories can be reduced to two representative species. Fast high energy grains perform large jumps. Upon rebound from the sand bed they eject some low-energy grains that quickly get trapped in the sand bed again. Recent research has accumulated a lot of experimental, numerical and theoretical indications that such a radical reduction still captures the essential physics. But these important pieces of evidence had never been put together into an analytically tractable and numerically efficient first principles model of aeolian sand transport. As a main result of the present work, the sand flux can now reliably and accurately be predicted as a function of the wind strength and grain size. The numerical solutions of the two species model are found to be in remarkable agreement with recent data from wind tunnel measurements performed by researchers in Aarhus, Denmark. It turns out that there is a complex balance between the two airborne grain species. Its consequences cannot probably be captured by a single representative grain species alone, as attempted by previous work. The model provides an excellent starting point for addressing the unresolved mysteries of aeolian structure formation. Moreover, the two species framework may in the future lead to a better understanding of dust creation and emission. These are important factors when addressing global challenges such as desertification or the influence of dust aerosols on the climate quantitatively.